Dope, this community was popping, was popping. It is Friday. Y'all know what time it is. We are back, man. We have the conclusion to X's question album, man. I'm hyped to get into it. Hope you guys been good. Y'all let me know how you've been feeling about the album so far. I'm pretty sure all you guys already heard it already. But yeah, man, I'm really enjoying it, man. It's really a journey. The different sounds and everything, I think it's fire. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. The next track is Changes, man. We got Changes, Hope, Schizophrenia, and Before I Close My Eyes. Let's get it. So that right there was changes. I like that song right there. Like extras, he sounds older. He sounds like older on this track right here. Like with his voice, it's like deeper and everything. And like with the piano, I love the way the piano goes. And it's like, it's just with his vocals on point. And he's like, baby, I don't understand this. You're changing. I can't stand it. My heart can't take this damage. And the way I feel can't stand it, baby. I don't understand this. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's, it's, it's wild, man. They're like, girl, you're making it hard for me. You know, and he keeps saying that part. It's just like, this is definitely one of them songs, man, that you that you have playing. It's just like, it just makes you think, like, and then like how repetitive it is, it really makes you think about it, like, because he says it over and over and over. So it's like, your brain has no choice but to like really analyze what he's saying. Like, it forces you to listen, you know? So big salute to him. I enjoyed that track as well. So let's get into the next track we have, Hope. Yeah. Rest in peace to all the kids that lost their lives in the parking shooter. The song is dedicated to you. Cause she keep calling, she keep calling every single night Yeah, and I don't mind, cause I'm cute to ride Oh no, so to God, I'm in my mind So you don't wanna die, yeah, when you cross my So you don't wanna die, yeah, no, I'm not a ride, yeah I might start a ride, yeah, I'm so fucking tired, yeah So it's up, what you say? Feeling good, I'm feeling great Tired of the fucking hate, stacking shoes all on my plate So 
up, what you say? Feeling good, I'm feeling great. Tired of the fucking hate, stacking cheese all on my plate. Yo, so that right there was hope. I'm not gonna lie, man. When it comes to like that, you know, that 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 flow that X has that other people be using, it's like I don't really I usually don't like that flow unless he does it. You know what I'm saying? If another artist were to like do this type of flow, like I feel like he's great at it. I don't feel like everybody could do that flow, but I feel like a lot of these artists be trying to do that same flow and to me it sounds terrible. You know, it sounds annoying, but like with him, I don't know what it is. He just sounds different because like I said, usually I don't like those flows. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like when he's like, said I want to die, yeah. No, I'm not all right, yeah. Like that right, I usually don't like that type of sound. You know what I'm saying? But I noticed like just since we've been on this journey with X, like I can listen to that sound. Like when I first heard him do it for the first time, I was like, man, I don't know about this. But then I ended up liking the song. But then I hear other artists do it and it just don't hit the same, man. So, you know, he starts off, you know, saying, saying rest in peace to all the kids that lost their lives in the park when shooting. This song is dedicated to you. And he's like, you know, okay, she keep on crying. She keep on crying every night. Well, every single night, day and night on my mind. Please don't kill the vibe. Oh, no. Swear to God, I be in my mind. I swear I want to die. Yeah. When it crossed my and then he gets back into it. Said I want to die. Yeah. No, I'm not. All right. Yeah. Might start a riot. I'm so fucking tired. Yeah. yeah so what? So what's up? What you say? Feeling good. I'm feeling great. Tired of the fucking hate. Stacking cheese all on my plate. You know, this track went hard, too. And I like it. It's a, it just sounded so smooth and like so crispy. You know what I'm saying? And then the drums, the drums were clean the way they were knocking and everything. And it was dope, man. So outside of my misery, I think I'll find a way of envisioning a better life for the rest of us. The rest of us. There's hope for the rest of us. The rest of us. You know, then he gets in that. Okay, she keep on crying. Keep on crying every night. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He gets back into that. So, you know, big salute to X. You know, and then, um, yeah, I like it, man. I like the track, man. I feel like Hope is a dope track as well. So let's get into the next one. Schizophrenia. So that was schizophrenia. Obviously, like, you know, obviously we know what that is. You know, you got the voices, you know what I'm saying? You hear voices and stuff. So, like, I like how he started, like, with whispering and everything. It's just so crazy because, like, when you hear schizophrenia, you're thinking, like, in this right here, it's it's almost like he's, like, um, it's like he's balancing the joint, right? So a lot of times when people think of schizophrenia, they think of, like, the voices in your head talking to you, telling you to do bad things and everything. But at the end of it, you know, you hear me saying, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up, don't give it up. You know what I'm saying? Well, don't give it up, don't give up. You know what I'm saying? He keeps saying that. So it's like, that's a great spin on it because in the beginning, he's like whispering, he's like voices in your head, voices in your head. Those are trying to drive you mad and make it all, make it all wild. You know what I'm saying? And then he's like voices in your head, voices in your head. Those are trying to drive you mad and make it all wild. And he's like, there's another mind deep in me. Don't know what's gotten into me. I've seen the other side plentifully, plentifully until the end. I'll until the end. I'll fight. There's another mind deep in me. I don't know what's gotten into me. I've seen the other side plentifully until the end. I'll until the end. I'll fight. Then he's like, don't give up. You know, so it's like an uplifting track right there. But it's like a spin. I like it. I like the way he spun it right there, man. Because you hear schizophrenia. You think he's going to be talking about a bunch of sick stuff that he's about to do. But it's like he's like actually doing the opposite. So. 
salute to him man this track was dope too it's very creative i like i like his take on this and i like his artistry so he wasn't lying when he like had his um you know the introduction to the album and everything he was talking about having an open mind and all that stuff so let's get into the last track on the album before i close my eyes to sleep, pray the Lord my soul to keep, hope's not too light for me, Lord, for lay me down to sleep, pray the Lord my soul to keep, hope's not too late for me, Lord, difference changing in the distance, time consumes the image. Changing in the distance, time consumes our image. Whoa. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Hope's not too late for me. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Hope's not too late for me Yo, John Cunningham is a beast, bro. Like he's he be doing a lot of exes stuff, man. Like he that was him on all the instruments, man. This track, man, I like this one too. It's a dope way to close it and everything. It's just, you know, I like it when X, when X is singing like that, just with his voice. Like, I like when he's like, before I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I hope it's not too late for me. Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just his voice, man, is dope. And then, like, the way it goes, like, with the guitar, the piano, the drums, whatever it is, he just knows he's... A, he was just an all-around artist, man. Like, he, he was a performer. He was an artist. Wordsmith. He could, like, do it all, man. You know, and he's like, difference changing in the distance. Time consumes the image. Distance, distance, difference changing in the distance. Time consumes our image. You know, first he said time consumes the image. Then he says time consumes our image, you know. And then he gets back into it. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord to so my soul to keep. I hope it's not too late for me. Like, those words are, like, powerful right there, man. He's praying before he goes to bed, and he's hoping it's not too late. You know what I'm saying? For God to, like, have his soul and everything. So, yeah. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the album, man. I feel like the album was dope, man. It takes it. Like, it took you on a roller coaster, man. It really did. Like, I know I was like this with the album. Like, the, it really took you on a journey. Then the way it ends, the way it starts, and the way it ends is just dope to me, man. Like, he's really great at what he does. And I feel like with all these different songs, it's like his emotions and how he feels. Letting you, remind you that he's human. You know what I'm saying? So, he's got, like, he's got his conscious rap up here. He's got his angry rap. He's got his rock up here. It's just letting you know, like, the daily motions that people go through. And then he just puts it on an album and everything. And people rock with it, man. He's really good at what he does, man. R.I.P. to X, man. Appreciate you guys showing up as always. You know what I'm saying? We got another X album dropping next week. I'm going to continue doing this as long as I can. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's a dope concept. And everybody gets their favorite songs out. And I ain't got to hear people in the comments yo lo still waiting for this still waiting for this we'll keep waiting man we got albums dropping man you know what i'm saying you get all this music and everything still waiting for this how about we enjoy what we got coming out i'm only one man i wish i had a team man make me want to hire some people dog like for real like this channel was really booming like that man i would really hire people to like do stuff to make my job easier up here man you know what I'm saying? But I enjoy doing it, so that's what's dope about it. Even with, like, the monetization, like, I don't make any money, like, off of these joints, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're all copyrighted, and y'all know the way I do my reactions. I let the whole song play. So it's like they take they take the proceeds from all these videos, you know what I'm saying? But I do this because I like it, and I want to put be put on the new music, and I like doing this for you guys and having conversations and all that other good stuff. So that's the main reason why I do this. And of course, obviously, you guys know me if you're familiar with the channel. I love music, man. Music is like my shit. It's my therapy. I've loved music my whole life. That's why I be doing the lyrical breakdowns and everything. Because I like to see the artistry and the penmanship in these artists and how they write. 
and you know have an idea of how they came up with what they came up with you know so but yeah y'all it's friday man y'all go ahead and turn up don't turn up too much make sure you protect your peace with your peace stay away from negativity and naysayers and negative nancy's and those people that talk about you man if you know somebody talk about you man just don't even don't don't even don't even deal with them man especially if you keep coming back to you it's like it's whack man because everybody don't need to be in your life and then honestly you know not even no beef shit some people you just grow apart from so especially if you're around people that are always negative grow apart from that man or you feel like whenever you pick up the phone you're losing energy when you're talking to this person they're getting all the energy they're sucking the energy out of you man you gotta look out for yourself you got your own peace of mind to worry about never feel obligated to pick up the phone if you're not ready to or if you don't want to you know what i'm saying don't pick up the phone just because like man if i don't pick up they go feel this way so the fuck what what about your mental health you know what i'm saying what about your mind you know what i'm saying you're picking up for them so it's like you're putting your feelings on hold for them they get on the phone they comfortable with you you know what i'm saying so it's like even people that are going through stuff like if you have friends that call you to vent all the time and it's an everyday thing you could limit how much you talk to them man especially like you're taking on their problems so they're taking their burden and putting it on you you know what i'm saying they get off the phone they got their shit off pause you know what i'm saying they got the phone to you they, they feel better because they was able to vent to somebody meanwhile you're just sitting there like dang man, i hope my friend's okay and like they could have messed up your whole vibe you know what i'm saying so there's nothing wrong with listening to your friends vent just you know like everything in moderation man it's like anything too much of anything will hurt you so just in moderation man you know what i'm saying sometimes you're like yo man if this negative bro i'm going through stuff on my own i don't really feel like hearing about this you know what i'm saying so it is what it is, man. But I love you guys. I'll talk to y'all later, man. See you guys next Monday or Tuesday with the next X album. And, you know, y'all be easy. Protect your peace with your peace. Like I said before, love you. See you later. Peace.